Hi, I'm Tara from PDQ, and today we're gonna to talk about MFA fatigue if you are still on-prem, so using Active Directory. And we had a request for this, and honestly, it kind of hurt my head a little, because I was like, huh, I don't have Azure, so I'm just using Active Directory. So I had to think about it for a while, and okay, here's so here's what I think. I'm gonna come over here, and I'm supposing that I'm using an MFA provider, for today's example, we're gonna use Duo, and I'm syncing Duo to Active Directory, and I don't use 365, okay? But I wanna know if one of my users is getting hit with MFA fatigue. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop into Duo, okay? So come down here, and I'm gonna make sure that my lockout settings are as strict as I possibly can be. So I'm gonna to try to say, I'm only gonna get hit five times, so that's probably a good number, five times and I'm gonna lock that account. And if I can, and Duo can, I'm gonna set it so the user can set an SOS to help desk and say, hey, something weird's happening, help me. Am I getting hit by a hacker? So check that first. Okay, once I've done that, I'm gonna come over and make sure, and you probably already have this, but I'm paranoid, so let's do it. I'm gonna come to my group policy and I'm gonna go right to my, it's probably your default domain policy. I'm gonna make sure that my account lockout is set for 30 minutes. It'll lock it out for 30 minutes after five tries. Okay, that's pretty standard. Five tries and then it will reset after 30 minutes. So the same thing we did in Azure, you're gonna do in group policy, okay? So now, then I was like stuck, I'm like, okay, well now I've prevented it, but how do I know I'm locked out or the user's locked out? How do I do that? And I was like, huh, I don't really know. So, hey, Jordan. I want to know how I, how do I know if my users are locked out? Look how tall I am. Yeah. Huh. I want to know if my users are locked out all the time. Can you automate that? A PowerShell. Yes. No. <laughs> all right. Have we closed down the, Other the PowerShell with the open? Server. Other server? Okay. I already wrote this. So, yes. So this is going to require that you have the remote server administration tools installed. It's by default on a lot of servers, but if you're on a workstation, it's a easy download. It just goes pretty quick. We're just doing get a user. We're grabbing all, all of the users. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to specify properties. They give you some default properties in AD, but there's so many that they don't give them all out of the box. So we're specifying we want the locked out. Grab the name and locked out, and we're looking for those that are True is locked out. We're just going to run that one line. Looks like Jonathan Byers. Jonathan Byers is locked out? That was totally spontaneous, that, Jordan. That wasn't planned at all. Oh, yeah. No. All right. So this is for just if you want to run the script, but if it's something you want a quicker way to run it. I do. Well, I want to know all we, the time. We put an inventory because we are geniuses of marketing. Yes, inventory. I love it. If I can get that open. Uh, so it's just if you go to the tools, we're going to customize. I built one that I... I don't remember what I named it. Let's find out. I think you named it Cred. Cred? Yeah, there it is. Didn't you? So it's just a, a PowerShell one. It's the same PowerShell. Nothing's changed there. You want to run this as a system. That just means run against the local machine. Okay. Once again, your inventory is going to require the re remote server administration tools. Okay. We want leave shell open. This is after it runs everything. It's mm -hmm. going to do in there. Okay. And, and then we set control shift Y as the automated uh, way to run that. So if you're just in inventory at any point... Uh, who's locked out, just control shift Y, and it'll pop up and it'll give you, we haven't changed that for false yet. So that's okay. everyone that's not locked out. Okay. So we change the false to the true and it'll go back to being accurate. I can run this all day long if I want. Whenever you want. Yes. Love it. Okay. I'm Tara with PDQ and that was Jordan.